All right, so the Brennan Schaub drama just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Now Brennan's assistant, Mark Harley, this guy who has his own podcast on the Thick Boy Network, he was on his podcast, and he was talking about how he's going to reveal a bunch of personal information on one of the most active users on the Fighter and the Kids subreddit. And he talked about this on a couple podcasts. And the first time he talked about it, he said he'd go through this user's Reddit posts and talk about all that on his podcast because, you know, maybe they have some like weird things that they're posting on Reddit or something. That's at least what this guy Mark was hinting at. And then the next podcast he did, he just came out and said he had revealed this guy's name, this Reddit user's name, his address, where he works, which you're obviously not allowed to do. And this guy's an idiot for saying he'd do that. Like, Brendan's podcast, it could be in some serious trouble if this guy is trying to do stuff like this. And not only that, now a member of the Fighting the Kids subreddit is claiming that Mark did dox him, allegedly. So I guess this user made a new account and they deleted their previous one. And their previous one was Mick Spitfire. And I guess they were an active member on the subreddit. And they said that, yes, it's true, I was doxed in the Cats Patreon pit by BGL. So they're claiming that during one of, like during a, I don't, I'm not even sure what they're claiming because this person doesn't have any receipts or anything like that. It's just the video here is only them just deleting their previous account. So there's no proof of this at all. But I guess they're claiming in a Patreon video or live stream, this guy Mark left a comment in the chat exposing this guy's workplace, I think. And now he's saying that people are calling his workplace and talking to his boss or something like that. And then also they said that they got a lawyer and they're going after Brendan or Mark. And the lawyer said that this is a slam dunk case, which, I mean, this could be true. All this stuff could be true, but I don't know. It seems a little suspicious to me. And I don't think people should just take this at face value. And I do see people starting to question it, which, like I said, this could easily all be true. But one of the things I'm concerned with is there's no proof this guy didn't show any receipts, which I think he claims he does have some. But usually with posts like this, they usually have evidence to back it up. All it shows here is just them deleting their username. There's nothing that shows Mark saying where this guy works or Mark like typing in chat where this guy works. And obviously this guy wouldn't want to show that, but maybe just blur some of it or be more specific or something. And then also this user, obviously I said they deleted their first Reddit username and then their second one that they posted this post with. I guess that was like suspended or deleted or something. So I hope it's true. And I hopefully this is the scenario how all this went down. Like this guy, Mark, he found one of the most active users on the subreddit. He went to his uh, subreddit page or his profile page and he looked through and maybe found some dirt on him and he found where he worked. And then he either told his fans where he works or I wouldn't be surprised if Mark himself just called this guy's work and like, you know, try to get in touch with this guy's boss and tell him like, hey, this guy spends all day on the fight in the kids subreddit. He's posting on there all the time. Or maybe they have some other weird Reddit posts that they could use against this guy. So if all that is true, then this Reddit user is pretty much telling the truth. And uh, Brendan and Mark are going to be in some big trouble because doxing is against most platforms rules. But right now, obviously, we don't know if this guy Mark actually did reveal this guy's information. And obviously, Mark said he would do that, so it does not look good for him. But if he didn't actually do that, and this Reddit user made this up and didn't really get doxed and did this for whatever reason, maybe like they just wanted to try to take Brendan down. And if they said that they were doxxed by this guy after this guy claimed he'd do it, then everyone would believe them and try to get Brendan banned from YouTube or Patreon or something by reporting him. Because I did see a lot of people in the comments saying that they were reporting Brendan's YouTube channel, I think, or his Patreon or something, which is probably not the best idea right now because who knows if this story is true. And I guess maybe this user showed like the Reddit moderators th that proof here or something, and they agreed to leave this post up. But to have this post up and people saying that they're gonna report his channel based on something that has no proof is kind of sketchy. And I think the fighter and the kids subreddit could take a hit for this and it would give people a reason to try to take it down possibly. It definitely would not be a good look for a fake Reddit post to cause people to go flag this guy's YouTube channel or report it and try to have it taken down. So I think these people might've jumped the gun too soon. 
Hopefully not. I hope I'm wrong. But I just don't think it's a good idea to report his YouTube channel just because Mark said he would release somebody's information. Because if that's all there is, I doubt that's enough evidence to have any impact on his YouTube channel. And it'd probably only be bad for the Fight in the Kids subreddit. It'd just be a bad look for them. And if you really want to get conspiratorial, maybe somehow... I mean, there's no way this is possible, but maybe somehow the stars aligned and Brennan and his team managed to pull off something pretty smart, like some 4D chess move. They they got Mark to go on the podcast. He says he's going to release all this Reddit information from one of the most active users on the Fire and the Kids subreddit. That user gets scared, deletes their account. So then Brennan realizes their account's deleted, and then Brennan and his team make a new account, claim they're the old account, and then say that Mark doxed them, They people were threatening them at their work, uh, now they got lawyers and they're going after them. And then people in the comments are like, oh man, this is against the rules, let's go report him. And they all like mass report him in a group effort, which might be against like subreddit terms. I'm not totally sure, and I'm honestly not even sure if this scenario makes sense at all, but I just think there's probably something else going on here. I'd just be really surprised if this is all true in this Reddit account, you know, it's real, they're telling the truth, uh, Mark really did dox them, and then I'm sure Brendan will lose his Patreon, and I don't know, I'd just be surprised if that's really how things played out. Even though this guy Mark is pretty crazy, and he could definitely get Brendan in some trouble, and I don't know if Brendan and like people who work for the Fighting the Kid podcast or the Thick Boy Network, I don't know if they just don't watch Mark's podcast, or like there's gotta be a producer sitting there. Like shouldn't they say after the first time he talks about this, like, hey dude, you're actually not allowed to do that? Or at least the second time. The first time he just said, you talk about their reddit posts which i don't know if that's against the rules like i he might just be able to do that i don't know the exact rules but if you have a reddit account and you're posting i'm pretty sure you could make a video talking about what this reddit account has posted in the past unless it's personal information then i'd imagine you probably can't do that which is what he was saying he would do so i don't know who's producing this guy's podcast or who works for the thick boy network but to let this guy say this stuff and let him get to the point where he's about to release this information, I mean, somebody screwed up. Somebody should have been like, dude, you cannot do that. But I don't know what's really going on here. It's all pretty suspicious. I mean, maybe somehow Brendan's pulling off some move to try to like use this against the fight in the kids subreddit, or this guy Mark is just really an idiot and did this stuff. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so I can keep you updated and I'll catch you at the next video.